Bowles and Runtown led other celebrities and youths in a peaceful end SARS brutality protest in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. The protest kick-started in the early hours of today as protesters marched from their converging point at Lekki Tollgate to the Government House Marina. While celebrities continue to use their platforms to speak out against police brutality, one artist is making his way in the music industry, creating music in hopes to inspire others. Today we shine our spotlight on Lanray George, aka Blazeman. My name is Lanray George, popularly known as Blazeman in the music industry. Blazeman is an acronym for Black Disease Loss Man, and that's that's my stage name. I've been doing music for quite a while. I started music way back in high school. Um, yeah, at some point I had to, you know, chill a bit and, you know, chase some other things. Lanre wanted to be intentional with his stage name and that is how the name Blazeman was born. It's a vibe that motivates me. It's something I grew into. Uh, at the early stage of um, my doing music, I realized I needed a stage name. But I didn't just want to be like the regular artists that just, you know, think about something that doesn't really, you know, make sense. I wanted something that can um, reflect my my hustle, that can reflect where I'm going to and um, where I was currently. So the um, the acronym Blazeman came to mind and um, the meaning is actually what you just said, black is easy lost man. It means that um, as a black man, um, I happen to be um, one of those boys, um, one of those Lagos boys that grew up with the dream of um, either being a musician or being a football star. You know, when I was growing up, that, that was basically what we had in mind that was propelling us. Those are the people we look up to, either a musical, a musical star or a footballer. You know, but at some point I realized I couldn't do well in the football space, you know, so music, you know, came in seamlessly, you know. And um, so basically that's Black is a zealous man statement is what carries me, you know, when I, when I, when I, when I wake up in the morning and I realize um, I'm not as, um, how do I put it, I'm not as active or I'm not as, um, um, yeah, I'm not as active as I want to be. I say that to myself. It's the kind of word that I find myself in a place and I, when I say it to myself, it propels me. It gives me some inner energy and it makes me, you know, really understand that I'm black and I'm zealous and um, I actually can chase my dream and achieve it. So that's what Black is a Zealous Man is about. Growing up in Lagos has not only shaped his identity, but his career choice as well. As a typical Lagos boy, as I said, um, I mean, every Lagos boy wants to be a success, wants to have a success story, you know, so you grow up in an environment, even if that environment is not where you really want to be, you realize that um, you find one or two things to pick around you that propels you. You find one or two people around you that you kind of like um, want to be, like, like you, you, you um, how do I put it now? You, that you, you're mentoring people around you that would um, influence where you really want to be, you know? So that's really affected me. That's um, kind of like shapes who I am today because um, growing up, I, 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 I never really had everything I needed, you know, but um, um, as things kept, you know, you know, moving and all, I, I realized that um, there's actually nothing impossible, you know. In Lagos, I mean, you have a lot of opportunities around you in Lagos. So if you can actually um, understand where you thrive most, and um, um, identify what you need to thrive well in that space. You would actually you do well in Lagos. So Lagos is a place that is free for everybody to succeed. You know, I mean, no matter where you're from, there's something for you to do in Lagos. You know, so this environment really has shaped who I am today and also contributes to the kind of music I do. Being talented and creative is only a portion of making it in the music world. As in most aspects of life, not much can happen without funding. You need money to do music, you know. So when I realized that I, I, I didn't have the financial muscle to push my music, I had to dig deep and um, think, I mean, look within me. And, and at that point I realized, I mean, I wasn't doing badly in school. I, I mean, I wasn't doing badly at all. So when music wasn't, you know, paying off, at that point I realized that perhaps I could just, you know, use this platform to get what I need to get so that I can, you know, push my music to the next, to the next level. So some of those things you, you said that um, 
um, would naturally not um, go well with an artist, but you've, you've seen me do are things that I, you know, I realized I could do together with music. Music is my passion. And even if, even when I wasn't doing music, you know, there's this, some, there's this thing about passion. Even if you find yourself in the office environment or in the corporate world and you have passion for creativity, there's just in our, it's not guilt anyway, but there's this thing within you that keeps telling you, you're not complete yet until you do that which you're supposed to do. So, so those things you feel are outside music, I did them because I needed to push my music to the next level. So, well, here we are today. When I realized I, I had enough money to do my music, I could easily do music then, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and also um, what led me to going, you know, to, to going into the corporate world or to doing some other stuff was because um, I didn't have all I needed. I wasn't equipped enough to, to push my music to the level I'd wanted it to go, you know, so so 2015 came and I realized that I mean, I've worked for a while and I have everything I needed. Most artists coming up today would typically fall under the Afropop umbrella, but Blazeman has carved out a spot for himself with a different sound. But right now I think I've, um, I, th I think also perhaps uh, it's been influenced by my, my, my personality. I think my, my chase for music now is not about just um, impressing anybody. I just want to ex express myself through my music, and um, in my ability, in my um, quest to express myself, I I feel it is just easier for me to do music that makes sense right now. You know, I feel it is just natural for me to do music that my fans will listen to and get one or two things from. Not like I don't do sounds that you can dance to. But my focus right now is not, is not about dance right now. It's about value. So I'm, it doesn't make me a pastor. It doesn't make me an imam. I've just made up my mind to do music that makes sense. What I want people to take away from my music is not too far from what I stand for, which is being a zealous person, being um, able to have a vision and chase your vision, being able to um, stand on your feet, even in the midst of, you know, um, words from, I mean, around you telling you you can't make it, you know, so that's why I stand for, I mean, I, I do the kind of music that you listen to in the morning and it propels you to want to, you know, go out there and do something positive to yourself. I do the kind of music that you listen to and will affect you positively, that would, you know, naturally make you want to do something positive to yourself or to your environment, so that's kind of music I do. With his new track, Higher, a melodious single, he seeks to inspire music lovers everywhere and promises there will be more uplifting music in the near future. We're going